All right, let's go into discussion on why there's so many being done and da da da. Okay, let's go. For one, every time I cl like, there's a certain part where we go in between. You know, see this little tiaras there, where you go see Angela and you pick out your little gifts or whatever, which you've seen in the other three videos before. When you know that you notice a play button down in the right corner, when I press it, it would log out. You know, it would actually click out to the you know your screen where you have all your icons and all that. Game developer, we need that worked on. I don't know what the hell that's all about, but that needs to be worked on ASAP. There's something, I don't know what it is, but I'm a Windows 10 user, and, I, you know, that's no excuse for a freaking upper class, freaking whatever. It's that no Windows 10 situation here. So, I could be wrong about that one, but seriously. Anyways, I'm not always right, but it's my opinion again. Um, but anyway, so that would happen, and then because I'm recording on game mode, it automatically cuts the camera out as soon as we hit the, uh, the, where the icons and all that out. If I did on screensaver, you see exactly the issue I keep going through, but. Anyway, special forth through all that, that's what the issue is and why it's always jumping in short videos per head. Alright, and then for number four to seven, I said they're end up doing, and then it didn't come out right, I was too groggy, too tired, I was getting bitchy, whiny, and the whole thing hard, so I said they're and deleted it. There's no way I was gonna finish it that night. I was really going through some um, issues that night. Um, besides, it wasn't even the game's issue. It was just me, and particularly that day, I was a little bit upset. So it wasn't gonna be a good gameplay that day. So I, you know, I deleted it. So being honest with you, I'm not hiding it from you. I'm actually telling you what happened. So to be exact, okay? Being honest with these sweethearts. I mean, if you guys would like to see stuff like that. Like, when I go through kind of stuff like that, I would gladly to, um, upload it for you. I mean, I don't have that particular thing, but if you want to see, like, that kind of side of me, I, I don't, I'm with it. Nothing to hide, and I have all to give. So, let's get started on four. Delight Florian, love is in the air, maybe keep Matt interested in playing. Or some, okay. See right here. This is what I'm talking about. See the play button down there? When I click it, like around or whatever, it clicks me out, which we don't want. So we're gonna click right on it. It happens for short, so. And because my editing equipment doesn't freaking love to edit right now with um bandy cam, I mean it'll, my I can do editing with my DCF D C D S C F files. Or I figure what it is. But I can do that with my camera, you know, the other files. But when it comes to Bandy Cam, and I choose to do the transitions, it just screws it up, it goes to face to block, it stays block, it's so I can't edit my um, Bandy Cam files. So that's the reason why we go straight full on Let's Plays now. So there's your poor one on that. Alright. No, I mean it, it's uncanny. Oh, come on. You look exactly the same as you did in high school. Boy, do you remember our principal? Are you serious? Of course I do. You're not ruining my school's reputation. Yeah, he totally ran that place like a prison. Still a real shame that they didn't shut it down. Maybe that has something to do with what happened at prom. The prom. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Silly me. Yeah, silly you. Probably forgot about Jenna Morgan as well, I'm sure. Thanks for bringing her up again! Say, have you ever heard anything from Janet? I heard she left for a year after prom. Janet who? <laughs> Doesn't ring a bell. She's trying too hard to impress them. I do not like that at all. When you have to sit there and try that hard to impress somebody, they're not worth your time, day or time. Like she, it's like, it's like that fake impression. You know, she's trying everything, oh I like this cause you like it, blah 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 blah, situation. And when someone does that, that's not even the real them, and which causes a false alarm. You know, the, you know, the person that looks, oh, well they really do like the stuff that I like, you know. It, it's a fake person, you know, it's not the real them. Amazing. I, I do remember that, um, it doesn't even seem like she, he's even interested. Look how when she toys with him with her finger, and it's like, he's like, 
whatever. Like, he's right. My opinion, he's probably got this egotistical opinion. This egotistical, like, uh, I'm better than everyone else. No offense, you're not. Well, 411. 411. Yeah, right. I hate people that are like that. I'm sorry. Be yourself, for God's sake. You know? I mean, if you have to really, like, outdo yourself and... I don't know, like... I'm, I have, let me think about, like, an idea. Like, okay. You got preppy friends, right? They're rich. And then you got the other side that's, like, not so rich, right? You know, this normal, average yeah. Joe. And, it, you know, it's like, okay, here's a good one. You know Mean Girls, right? Like the movie? You know how, um, Lindsay Lohan's character was the one where she comes out of it, you know, she's trying to act cool a little bit to fit in. You know, that's, wait, that's a better thing. Trying to fit in, basically. It's like she's trying to fit in and act cool, but I don't know, explain it. Uh, I'm all over the place right now, don't mind me. Uh, I'll, I'll explain it to you in a moment here, sweethearts. It's just, I'm trying to get... Smart. Oh. Because Mr. Egotistical Booster Ooh. over there needs attention. Or AKA Narcissistic at this point looks like it. Because it doesn't even look like he's paying attention to her. Like, seriously, it doesn't even look like he's like, Yeah, I know, I'm cool. Oh, fuck you, you're cool. You're cooler than a freaking nothing. That's what it is. And she shouldn't have to try to press so much. If someone genuinely loves you, screw the like button. Like, <laughs> screw the like button. If you notice, I call my button the love button on our channel because it's love. It's meaningful. It's the kissy button. We'll get to that in a moment. Matt Miller? No way! Careful there, Angela. A new quote, friend? What it say? Old flames may flare with just a tiny breath of air. What? It's not like that. That was ages ago. We just talked and... Wait. You dated this Matt Miller in high school. Oh my gosh! Did they date? <gasps> They'd probably be married now if it weren't for that... That... Janet Morgan! You mean this Janet Morgan stole Matt from you? Where is she now? Some place far away. Besides, that was long ago. Can we change the subject, please? Yes, Victoria, she did. But there's more. Angela didn't become prom queen because of her. Yay! <laughs> so typical. Fabulous. But anyways, like I said, love. Okay. Let's just talk about love. Let's get in that play button. Hopefully, they don't know. So scared about always that. So, if someone is genuinely interested in you, you shouldn't have to put a lot of effort. You know, jump through a fire, jump through a hoop. Sort of speak, people. Not literally before you go sit there and think, whoa, I gotta jump through. No. There, there's only so much a person needs to do. You know what I mean? There's only so much you, you should be doing. I mean, too little, too much, whatever. But if someone's genuinely interested in you, they'll show it. You know, it might not be extravagant, it might not be big, but they'll show it in their own way. Everyone's got a way of showing interest in somebody. It doesn't necessarily have to be one way or another. You know, and it, you know, and it's oh, butter butters. You, you remember peanut butters or mousy poo? He's just like Ollie, like in Hearts Medicine. They're my family. Anyways. Um. For instance. I'm not trying to think of some, like, examples we use for you guys. Like. Um. Ugh. I'm trying to think of some things for you to. Like. Oh, yeah. I'm not doing good on the clicking. That's okay. It's just the beginning of the day for me. Um. 
trying to think. Okay. Oh, oh. See, the reason why I'm taking so long to think about this is I'm trying to think of a like a life experience I've been through that I can use. And which, to be honest, right now, my mind's all over the place with this right now, so I'm not really thinking about it much. Oh yeah, wasn't this the, the thing where I was supposed to get like multiple things at the desk or something? Sharp. Sparkly. Yeah, well let's hope no one orders that dress or I'll have to make I got the dress! I clicked on it! That's BS on so many counts. Three, one, two, three. Look. Come on, Angie. Shut up, people. Sharp. Fabulous. Yeah. Well, we just got spotless too. So yay. I don't have a clue to be honest. I don't know if I can give you an example on this one. I probably can, but right now, I'll be honest with you, my brain is like gone right now. I got so much in my mind right now, to be honest. Okay, so we did that. Now let's go five. Dream a little, dream of me. Angel is shocked. Some customers make sure they don't leave. I'm trying to think, what can I use for that example? Dream a little dream of me. I... I didn't know what to say. We love you, Angel. What a fantastic prom. Look, Mama Dad, I finally became prom queen. You know, Emily, you could take stand to learn a thing or two from your little sister. Oh, screw that crap. I love it. I love Emily the way she is. I know this is Angel's dream, but I love the way Emily is. Family-oriented work. You know, career ethic, the whole nine yards, and no mommy. And this bit with being popular does not get you far in life, I hate to say that. We'll go on another tangent and a few, you know, talk about it. If only I could be more like Angela. Oh, screw that. That's so. This is where the stroke of egotistical comes in. Oh, I'm so popular. Oh, I'm so everything. Oh, yeah. It's as far up here you can go, you can come just as fast down. I'm so honored to have an anonymous chosen as a prom queen. I didn't vote for you. Yeah, where's Janet? Janet is it's a real shame, but Janet couldn't be with us tonight. We want Janet! As I said, Janet is not gonna be here. Now where was I? Oh yes, I'm so honored. Hey! Janet just showed up in the parking lot! What? You won't be needing this now that Janet's here. <laughs> or this. Hello? Anybody? Oh, <laughs> the bitch is sad. No! This is my moment! No! 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 Okay, I know green isn't my color, but there's no need to, need to start shouting. And by the way, my name is Wendy Dear, not Janet. Egotistical, telling me she's a bitch. Besides the point, being honest. And... I'm sorry! Angela seems the type what? just like the guy. Like, she can be very, like... She's probably the type Smart. that... Because she wants tension so badly, she would just do just about anything at a drop a hat for a guy. And that's Shop. sad. Like, literally. Amazing! Amazing! Sharp! Shut up! Angela, get your ass moving, girl! Angela! Smart. They get so bitchy quick! 
Unbelievable! No angry, no angry. Thank you. Where's the glass of that? Oh, there he is. Don't you dare be bitchy with me, girl. I'll show you exactly what a real bitch I can be. Oh, believe me. Preppy girls just got that attitude. Very, I'm, you know, literally. Oh, I can get that one down pat like no other. I'd rather than I'd be, like, seriously. And it's not just preppy girls either. So I don't want to hear the stereotypical bullshit. Because it can be anybody. So, yeah, people, get your little notes straight. Because it's not always preppy girls. Okay? Ugh. I hate when people do stereotypical shit because it's like, you can't always just say it's one or another, you know what I mean? That's just my personal opinion on that one. I think people would put too much stereotypical on certain things, like literally. Like, okay, all preppy girls talk this way, like, oh my god, no, not naturally, they can just talk normal for god's sake. Have you ever thought about that? Like, hello? Ugh. Anyways, I don't know, it seems like Angela is the, sort of like the black sheep of the family, sort of, she, like she tries to get, she'll do almost anything to get attention, because her other sister is kind of more successful and, you know, in a different direction, I don't know. Personally, I think there's, you know, just some attention situation going on between sisters. I don't know. There seems a lot, like a lot of underlying issues with this, basically. You better give me my star. I got three. Thank you. Uh. Oh my gosh! What are you two doing here? Well, your sister and I are on a little shopping vacation here in New York, and we wanted to see you while you were here. We're here. Chloe, this is my mom, Evelyn, and my sister, Emily. Hi, pleased to meet you. Chloe's visiting from Paris. Hi, Chloe, come and save you. You must be very proud of Angela. Come and save you. Of course, we are. Though she was a real handful growing up. The rebellious one? And the one that probably wanted attention because her other sister. It happens in certain families. Really, no need to sit there and sometimes with the you know younger siblings or the older vice versa, whatever's going on, they tend to sit there and try to get the attention the wrong way, like acting up, for instance. That doesn't work all the way. It sounds like that she acted up on purpose to get attention because she wasn't getting. You know what I mean? The overachiever, underachiever. Oh man, there's so much I could be sitting down chatting with you on this one. Oh man, for hours. There were times when we wondered about her. You remember Emily that one time when? Yes, thank you, mother. Fabulous. No offense, Angel, but trying to be popular does not, you know, just being you would be fine with your mother, but. Whatever, for girlfriend. So, did I do five? Yes, I do five. All right, number six. Let her draw out a design whenever she's inspired, and I can remember. All right. Can okay, imagine what's gonna happen now. Your mother made you do a year in the year of school in New York. Just so you can go to prom? It feels that way. Sometimes it's a bit ironic though. She has a, how do you say, complicated relationship with prom. What the hell is it with freaking, freaking, I'm sorry. This reminds me of most popular girls. And I am putting the link in the description down below for you guys to go check that out. Because Susan... Or Suzanne Marguerite, what's it? How do you say the book? I'm like, oh my god, I can understand why Brittany got so. Ugh! Brittany, I'm on your side, girl. It's funny, it's like this Barbie contemplation. It's really funny. It's really more, in my opinion, it's more geared toward 
adults because of the language and all that stuff, but it's like got like teenager vibes in it too, so it's good. I recommend you guys check it out. It's really awesome. I mean, most guys probably wouldn't watch it, but um, I really recommend it. You're missing out big time. It's not what you think it is. You gotta watch it. And they're coming out with a fifth seat. What is today? I believe their first episode would be out today, I think. Their other season five, I think. But anyways, um, it's a good, good show. It really is. I recommend that channel very much so. But anyways, not, they don't always talk like that, I don't believe. Or Sam, I don't know, I'm not con, you know. But, uh, it is very important for her, though. I don't think she really enjoyed her own. She won't talk about it, but I think something bad happened to her. That's too bad. It's such a special night for most. My personal opinion, if I didn't, I, I don't remember if I said it in a prior three episodes. I think Chloe is actually, you never have to talk about Janet Morgan and she goes off to prom, you know, after Morgan, or after prom she goes to Paris, or whatever. I think what happened is Chloe's mother is actually Janet Morgan. And what happened was she got knocked up after prom, like the usual happens. She got knocked up after prom, went off to Paris, had Chloe there most likely, and then came back, and then now she's making her go to prom and hopefully have a better prom than she had. Opinion. We'll see what happens, So I never went to college for my prom. Oh, I never went to college for me. Prom was the highlight of my youth. If only my mom felt the same way. I'm not sure she would come, she'll come around. I mean, I bet her problem wasn't as bad as mine. Well, I bet, but speaking of, Emily and Miss Napoli, it was nice to meet you. Ugh. I've still got so much work to do on my designs. I'd love to help only out, or out if you want. Really? You're a lifesaver. Alright, let's get this started. But, my personal opinion, I think I think that's what happened, though. About 99.9 .9 of the time, that's what happens on prom night. But it's so funny, though, because the simple fact is, if they're in their senior year as it is, it wouldn't matter if they get pregnant or not, because they're, they're graduating. They're freaking adults. So, why you sit there and get all bitchy if they don't finish? Um, finish. Well, she... Okay, yeah, probably at the end of the year, so I don't want to, whatever. I just, like, if they get printed in their senior year, it wouldn't matter. They're going to finish school out anyways, so, whatever. Cool. College smallage, that's all i got to say. Screw it. I don't know. Peanut butter, where are you, Pornut? Oh, you are, she baby. <laughs> I love peanut butters. Mouse, my mousy poo on this game is called uh, peanut butters. And if you also know, I see that a lot in my, you know, I call you peanut butters and all that. And basically, I call my kids peanut butters too. Why you say? Amazing. Well, peanut butters is a cutesy name for me. So, it's a good name. It's not bad. It's just a cutesy word. One that so cute and adorable. I just want to give it so many huggies and kisses and just love and a whole nine yards. You know, it's just like when you see a little baby. He's like, oh, she's a baby. You want to give him huggies and kisses and take good care of him and everything. At least that's what I think anyways when I see a baby. I just want to give them huggies and kisses and take good care of them. And make sure they get all the love and attention they need. That's what I... My kids are spoiled rotten. And my future children, when I have more children, whenever that is, will be spoiled rotten by mommy. Again. Like always. They deserve the best. So. I always 
see if you can get an emerald. It's gonna go over there and do that. Anyhow, sorry if I look like little, literally tired, but I am a little bit tired today. So I know that it's getting like dark and dreary outside again. It's gonna rain. So that has nothing to do with it. But some people get tired when it rains. But I'm, you know, I just I had a really long night. So because about like about eight o'clock, I got tired. I'm like, I can't go to sleep. I'm not allowed to go to sleep until 1 o'clock in the morning because the simple fact is I had to take my medicine at 1. I have a schedule I'm on with my knee medication because my knee still, I you know. What do you think? The designs are nice, but we really need something fresh and exciting to the present world. Whatever. I know, I skipped the word, sorry. Really? I think they look nice. I could keep it another go. I'm just a bit worried that we'll miss prom season. Don't worry, Victoria. How can I not? Running truly so business is harder than I thought. We'll get noticed, I promise you. Victoria, relax. I promise that whatever happens, we will have dresses to show. And we will get noticed okay okay if you say so the personalities of these characters are very interesting i say because they got like a little of like i don't know okay so now you remember we did that now we gotta go here and then we'll do number seven We're going on click lower than that play button. It clipped out of the the game itself. That needs to be worked on with the creators. They really do, because that was drove me nanners. Oh, it does it on its own. Okay. But you don't go over there to get whatever. Angela, move your keys for girly poo. Or do we have issue? Hello, plan is money. Sparkling. Sparkling a ball shoot. Fun. Smart. Angela, let's go. Peanut butter, this is not the time. Where's my baby? Where's my baby peanut butter? Where'd you go? Where's my baby? Where's my baby peanut butter? Pretty sure it's gonna be on that side, so I'll just let this go and see. It'll show up. Peanut butters? Where's my baby? Shark. Where's my baby boy? I'm pretty sure he's a boy. Stunning. I'll see him. This is gonna be havoc. I can't find my baby boy. My baby boy peanut butter. Cute peanut. I'm assuming the mouse is a boy, so don't go running off with it's a boy. I don't know if it is or not. Peanut butter, where are you? You're driving mommy niners. Can't find my baby boy. Let's see. He's not up there. He's not there. He loves to hide. He's not there. He's not by the counter. He's not in his little basket area, which he usually is. Are you by the... Where is he? I'm sorry if I'm taking some time. I just I, I don't see him. You hear him, and it's coming from this side, so that means he be on this side, and I don't see him anywhere. Watch well, be a freaking glitch. I'm telling you, there's been glitches in this game before.
Well, I'm sorry if I didn't get peanut butters this time, Shark. but it's the same thing that happened with Ollie in the other episode with Hearts Medicine. There are times when you cannot find them because either they're being hit by something else or there's a glitch where you can hear them and they're not there. Although, by the way, Hearts Medicine, they have that problem. Oh, there he is. Oh, you had it under there. Peanut butters. No wonder why I couldn't find you. You were under there. You know. Did you see that? Oh. Stop being a bitch. Seriously. Ugh. They all order the same thing and then they get really bitchy with me if they don't get their own way. It's like, you know what? Shut up. Take the shoes. Go to hell. And then let me know about how hell is. Sharp. God, impatientness. I'm pretty sure there's been people in real life that had issues with the patient customers that drive them through the wall. But of course, in customer care, you have to know how to handle it properly because that could cost you your job. So it's best, you know, to grin, bear it, and just let up. So you got it. You can't. I mean, throw a flame with a flame and does not work. You know. You can't, just because someone else is pissed off, you don't come and retaliate with anger. It doesn't work that way. If anything, it just gets worse if you do it that way. So you don't want to do that. It's a no-no. You want to bring it back with calmness and whatever not. So. Make the perfect dress for Chloe. You know what I mean? Retaliating with hate and hate is not going to work. It, make it work. It's going to make it drag it even deeper. And yelling at King. You need someone with a calm approach. And, you know, that settles it. You know what I mean? You need someone to, you know. Did you know I was almost prom queen? Oh, God. The story goes on. Really? It would have been so wonderful. Here we go with her ego. Her ego needs to get in check. Too bad you can't have another prom. Maybe being prom queen would give you some inspiration for those new designs. It seems like she's very self-centered. She's not thinking about her friend Victoria, you know what I mean? That's the one thing I noticed about Victoria, or Victoria. That's another thing I noticed about Angela versus Emily. Emily is the most caring, loving person. She cares about everyone else. Angela seems like the type that she is like, I, 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 me, 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 I'm so perfectionist. I was like, oh my god, please, somebody knock her off her pedestal, please. I love to see, see her just knock off that pedestal and go to the ground in the mud. She needs a reality check, that's what I'm saying. So to speak. That's it! Let's have a party! Because they're a high school reunion. Gosh, a reunion. I love reunions. Exactly, even better. Let's make it prom. Then, we can become prom queen in our very own reunion. Prom queen. Oh, yes! Finally. Wait, what about Janet? You okay? Never better. Anyways, she needs reality check. Ugh, my mom's been driving me crazy at home. Mind if I hang out here a bit? For a bit? Well, my shift does start in a minute. I could help out. I'm really good with people. Fabulous. Oh, that reminds me. I have some great fabric for your new prom dress. Your mom will love it. Oh, this is not gonna turn out right. Pretty sure of it. So we need a that and that. Voila. That. One, two, three. She was hiding underneath the sewing machine. Be careful under there. It's dangerous. I don't need to get hurt. Mommy loves you a bunch of little peanut butter. It's too little mousy poo. Oliver is 
Oh, I love Oliver. You guys gotta go watch my freaking um the uh hearts medicine and the hearts med um heat situation. It's so cute. Ollie's so adorable. He's just an adorable little guinea pig. He's mama's proud pride and joy of mine. So cute. I love the peep games you play. I love it. He's so cute. He's my proud baby. <laughs> I know, everyone's different, but he's so cute. Sharp. Ugh! The coffee macaron situation! Which is gonna probably put me off my game. Okay, there we go. Boom. And back to that. Cool. You know, instead of saying cool, which is the old, how about Koyo or something? Or cools or something, I don't know. Seriously. Or, no, 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 I got one. Coolness. Wasn't that like, in Mean Girls he said that. But that was like so like yesterday. Can I please, for the love of God, get the dress done? You guys are driving me nanners. Don't care, you're waiting for your shoes. Done. Thank God. And this, and this. Clean that up, Chloe. Thank you. Smart. And voila. Amazing. Boom. Done. Yeah, that dress ain't gonna pass either. I hate to tell ya. Especially nowadays, prompts. We. They got freaking down low situation on that stuff. Not too much. You can't have straps. You can't have this or oh, <sighs> I've heard about it. I'm like, holy crap! You guys had nowadays schools are freaking like horrible. Cause back when I went, I, you could wear almost anything to prom and almost wear anything of clothes to school too. And it's like nowadays and. It's like they're freaking stricter than the hell. It's like, oh my god, what are you running? Freaking private schooling or something? And it wasn't even private schooling. Anyways. Well, what do you think? It looks amazing. I love it. Wonderful. I've got to head off now, but why not show that dress to your mom again? And see what she thinks. Hello, thanks again. Okay. Right. Let's see what happens. I love this little cafe situation. It's cute. Love it. Okay, I have something to ask you guys. What would you think about me planning a snuff for a high school reunion? A reunion already? Wow, I feel old. I don't know if that's a, such a good idea. Oh, come on. Don't you want to find out what happened to all your crowed? Oh, crushes. Yeah. Like Jenny's ex, what's his name? The nerdy guy in charge of the film club. Or, like, Mr. Stevenson, the math teacher you had a crush on. No wonder why you got straight A's in math. Hey, I worked hard for those. Oh, really? How did you work on those? On your back, preferably? Ha <laughs> ha, being sarcastic. Woo! Oh, um, you know how this thing goes. Well, that's actually what they would say in college, I think. But anyways, f fast forward, seriously. But the funny thing about it is just the, the drama. Okay, a little flirt did it hurt. Oh, really? What else did you do? Great, then it's settled. I'm going to plan a school reunion. Or a reunion. Come on, you know there's scandals in high school and in college. We all know. 
Hell, there's even there was even scandals in my own high school, and I remember every single one of them. Let bygones be bygones. Let's organize a reunion. Help Angela invite her old classmates. I'm trying to remember though. Jenny's old crush. What was that? I was gonna say something. Jenny's old crushes. Eh, whatever. We'll get back to that when I figure what the hell was going on in my brain. What do you think? Does that reunion sound like fun? Sound fun? Not to me. It doesn't. I'm happy to let the past be in the past. Besides, reunions are just for people who just wanted to be in a spotlight. Sounds like he's got some resentment there. Watch that be the guy that Janet Morgan was with and had the child with. I'm just putting two to do what possibly could have happened. Anyways, I know, right? What are those people thinking? <laughs> yeah, right. You know, damn well straight, she's a freaking egotistical one in the group. Anyways, besides, who would be my date? Matt, can I ask you something? Uh oh. Is this the dreaded where are, are we headed talk? No, not yet anyway. I was wondering, just wondering, what happened with you and Janet after high school? Not much. She went and started a new life for herself halfway around the world. Before too long, we stopped staying in touch. Perfect! Even if she did find out about the reunion, she'd probably be too late. I can't believe my ears! It wouldn't be right not to invite her. Like she care anyway. She chose to leave her life here behind. You know, it's called a reunion for a reason. It's for people to reunite. I haven't seen her since, well, since the last time I saw Keith. Some brothers are we, huh? Okay, I don't know. Maybe they had two different things. I don't know. Maybe he didn't want to have a family. She did, so she chose a different life. I don't know what to think on this. Hey, Susan, I'm organizing a reunion. Do you want to come? Oh boy, I'm not reading those again. I remember in the last Fashion Fever we played, it was like I had to read those. I just skipped. I don't care. Let's go through that. I got other things to do. Oh my god, the stupid phone won't shut up. I don't care about who you're talking to. I just care about getting this done. Seriously, I don't know why they added that in the game, because in the last one, I didn't care, and I still don't care about that. Where's my peanut butter? All right, my little peanut butter. What did you do, Peanut? What's the rabbit? Oh, come on, you're hiding on mommy again. You heard him. You heard him. Where was he? Come on, peanut butters. This is not the time to hide on mommy. Where are you hiding? Now you're in a little basket area. You did that last time, I remember. We'll figure it out. Right, good grief. I know people are probably sitting there saying something about Snoopy and that uh, with Charlie Brown. I, I, I always say good grief. And I love Peanuts. You know, the, the, the comic, what they call it. Um, yeah, I love Snoopy and Woodstock and them. Woodstock's my favorite. And Snoopy. Cool. Peanut Butter, where are you? Mommy's getting concerned. Where did you go? Why is it you and Ollie's a little bit more easy to find? Actually, the one time I remember in the one episode I didn't find them. I got so upset about that too. Oh, they make four. Again, that's a uh, pose there to do that. Amazing. 
Okay. I hear you, but I can't see you. Where are you? One thing I hate about when the developers do that stuff, they put it in the most difficult spot, and it's like, well, how am I supposed to see that? Whatever. Smart. I can't do nothing about it. Cool. Those make it difficult. Peanut butter, where are you? Mommy is worried about you. I keep hearing you too. It's always on the left side. But I don't see him on the left side, though. That's the fucked up part. Let's see. He's not on the right side. He's not under the little thing. He is nowhere to be found. I mean, by the desk area. I I'm sorry, guys. Can't find him. There's no way of finding him on that. Not perfect. I was supposed to find him. I didn't know where he was. I couldn't find him. Hey Emily, do you still have Josh Room's number? Great. Give my love to mom. Bye um. Or bye him. Bye him. Oh lord. Kinda gonna be safe fast enough, so it's like bye him. Your sister seems lovely. She is. Mostly. <gasps> Give it up, Angela! You're just your sister because she's successful, has a business, has a husband, has a daughter, and is pregnant again. And you, you're just jealous of her. You had a husband once, and then when you thought you were pregnant, you got all like scaredy type. Okay? If you get the, like, the, that fear out of your head of having a child all together, you could be just like Emily. No, literally. And be successful and have children. But you get, like, this anxiety about you. Seriously. She doesn't have to be like her sister. She needs to get... I think she she has some stuff to work on. She needs to have a... Because if she has a kid, it can't be all about Angel. It's got to be about her child, too. And I have a bad feeling about that, too. Some parents... Give me a minute here. Some parents tend to do, like, the tallest scare situation. Oh, boy. You know, that show... No, no, I'm kidding. I couldn't do it without her. Sometimes I feel like she was the favorite, you know? I wonder why. It with your attitude and getting in trouble all the time doesn't help any either. You're drawing the wrong kind of attention if you behave and... You know. Oh wait, no. I never had a big sister. Now you've got me right. The tray will get smaller and smaller as time goes on. I know I talk a lot about siblings. That's a touchy subject we need to just let you know. See? You're probably gonna be like, why? Well, not to bring it down any. My little sister. I, I actually had had a, a full blood sister and brother. And, uh, unfortunately, um, they died after I was born. So, I don't have any full siblings. I have a uh, half blood brother. I have a. I have, two, I have three half blood brothers, two stepsisters. Shut the hell up. What the hell happened? Oh, God! Is this the one with the tray breaks? Smart. Oh, Oh man. Suck. Like a bottle cap suck. Oh, this is not the time peanut butter. Oh there you are. Well that was that was easy. Fabulous. 
Oh dear. Sharp. Sparkly. How many does that make? Two? Go. Smart. Oh, that's what I was talking. I'm sorry, I got silent there. I just went into another world altogether. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I have, yeah, I have three half blood brothers, two stepsisters, and I had a full blood. I had a full blood brother and little sister. Um, but like I said, they died after I was born. So. Someone says sibling, it's like you're lucky, you know. I never got that chance. I've always felt you know how I always talk a lot about being lost? Well, I felt like that all the time. And it was because of that, but it was also because of other things too. There's a lot of reasons why I feel so lost and people don't understand. You know, and there's a lot of reasons why there's a lot of anger and sadness that are that is built up in me. And I will talk about this in a, a episode of a vlog. So you guys can kind of understand. Because a lot of people don't understand it. So. And yes, I am upset about it. And yes, I do feel like... There's so much there's so wrong in my life. But it's okay. You know, it's alright. For my children, they won't ever be alone. They'll have their siblings. So I'm not worried about it. And you know Fabulous. So but my, my own children, you know, had their issue too. They lost a brother and sister as well, so. But I know about it. My kids are smart. Not like, I wasn't really, really super far along. I was only like two months, but I could tell exactly what the gender was. I know that, uh, for a fact that, uh, some people are like, well, you can't tell. I'm like, I want to make a bet. There's a ways of telling. I mean, yeah, it's the in a digest oh, This is a long story. I'm not gonna go into a freaking whole healthcare situation on this. Anyways, stitching things together. Let Angela try on her fabulous dress for the reunion. So if I start going to explicit, that's gonna put it in adult restricted. So tough. Okay, you ready? Well, oh, that is pretty. That is pretty. I love that dress. It's Tracyk. It's Tracyk enough. It'll take me. Oh, it's Tracyk enough. It'll let me take center stage at my high school reunion. I think so, but what do I know? I've never been to anything like that. It would look great on you too, by the way. Hey, I know. Why don't you ask your mom if you you can come to my reunion with me? It'll give you a chance to see what prom is about, sort of. Plus, if you're lucky, I'll let you cr crown me after I'm voted honorary prom queen. So stuck up snobbish, Angela, seriously? And because she looks up to you, treating her like a freaking puppy dog. So wrong. What the hell? Such arrogancy, Angela, seriously, makes me sick. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm being really honest here, my honest opinion. There's one thing when you're vain, and there's one where you're humble. And she doesn't seem like she's humble. And I, I don't get it. Out of the two sisters, you think she would be. Daddy. You know what I mean? You think she'd be like Emily being humble and all that, but... Whatever. That, not everyone can be like everyone. 
You know what I mean, I'm not gonna say she should be like Emily, but that air can see throws me off. Like seriously, you have no idea. I don't know. Smart. Dunny. I just I'm grateful for the stuff I get in my life. I've been through hell and back. Just like everyone else out there, but I've been to hell and back a lot more times than I know of. Not sort of saying that I'm worse than anyone else, but I'm just sort of saying. Grateful, guys, for what you got. Because sometimes you don't know until you lose it. Or whatever. Dear Betsy. Cool. Thank God, I thought someone was not going to go in that one. Sharp. Dunny. Oh boy. Anyways. But yeah. I know it's like two things in your life. My, you know, everyone always, there's been people asking me about what's the reason behind my channel's name being Dancing Solace. I told, uh, I think it was someone over at Vinny or something. I, I, or I might have said a few times on our channel too. Well, it's still our channel, it's just we have our channel and all, you know, on Vinny. And on, well, we have our channel everywhere now. It's not in just one spot. Because one thing you want to do, and it's one thing I recommend to most people who start a channel, is do videos on a lot of platforms because it gives you better exposure. And where YouTube's not showing you off to certain, you know, whatever, there could be another platform that gets you another, you know, whatever. Because certain, like, pl places can, you know, they have a certain pull than others. Grab boo boo things. I'll be fine, though. I think it's funny, though, how she came almost the same color from the last one. So, how do you like America? Dinos nos pale el Angela's mame. I want you to have American prom, so where, while you're here, we'll speak English. Well, I hope so. How are you supposed to communicate with other people? I really think you're gonna like the new dress, mom. That's one thing that I think is like if you visit America or if we visit other countries as Americans, we should sit there at least try to speak your language so we can understand you. I think that's the right way. My personal opinion. I don't think someone should be forced to learn another language in their own country just because um, foreigner, you know, I mean, we should at least try, uh, us Americans should at least try, when someone comes from another country, we should at least try to spruce up our languages anyways, to, so we can at least communicate with them and make them feel home in America. And then I think they should try to learn our language too, while they're here. And then if we go to their country, it, I think it's expected of us to at least try to know their language, or at least at, at their best, or try to bring something with us, so we can communicate with them. You know, equal. Not be forced. Be equal. Family. Treat each other like family. That's what I believe. I don't think you're gonna like the new dress, Mom. I already said that. And the lady at the store is, is really nice as well. Do you know she organized a high school union? Who's... Who? Victoria? No, the other ladies who helped me create my prom dress. 
Come to think of it, didn't you also go to sniff or hide? Yes, dear, what do you ask? I think she did as well. I think you like her, Mom. Her prom night was a total disaster just like yours. With her high school union coming up, she wants a second chance to get things right. Mom, where are you going? Enough talk. Kind of go shopping at Victoria's. Oh, son, I told you that Janet Morgan. I got a vibe, man. What the hell is this? Scoring points will give you the level going to. Scoring points will get, keep the level going, get the high score, beat your friends, and become the best in the world. Okay, no offense, I don't need popularity. So, I don't want to beat anybody. I want to be me. Please. Just saying. A lot of subjects to you sweetheart. You know what I mean? There's so much to talk about on all this, you know? Sharp. Oh my nose is drumming nana. Wait. I hate when it happens. One, two, three. One, two, three. And this. Gimme something, gimme something, gimme something. You know, where are you, baby? Where did he go? I can't play with you right now, Peanut. I need this. Okay, what a boring voice I have today. Good. I'm criticizing myself. I'm allowed to. I have a prone to doing that, you know. Actually, I think you guys know that already. How much I get on my case. Smart. Fabulous. Sharp. Someone's open again. I have people around here arguing all the time, I swear. Well, not all the time. That's ridiculous for me to say that, but it happens. Smart. Smart. Not bad, I'd say. Come on, Angie. Amazing. Fabulous, darling. You just fabulous. And Mr. Mousy there made fun of Butters. He went somewhere five seconds ago. Smart. Stunning. Oh my god. So you. You. You smart dun, dun, dun. that and that so one two three take you to there smart 
And then put your go on July. Move that booty, girlfriend. Let's go. Fabulous. And then put you there, and here, and there, Shark. and there. Ba da ba. Ba da ba. Not looking for it to be like I said. Okay, boom, boom. Smart, smart. Feel that. Got peanut butter constantly going all over the place. It's like, oh, okay. Now, well, amazing! We have this to be me. Sharp. Smart. Smart. Stunning. Cool. Always make sure it's nice and clean. Oh. Jesus, how many ships are there? Come on. You gotta do that. Okay. Go. Smart. Oh. Come on, Angie. Let's go, girlfriend. Let's go. Seriously. Fabulous. Yes, fabulous, girlfriend. Fabulous. Oh, seriously. I was saying to the girl because she's like throwing her hands in her hip and like, you know what? Shut your BF. Because BF don't want to hear that BF. <laughs> don't ask me. I made that one up as I was going along in my head. It just came out like that. So don't mind me. Don't mind me because I don't want to see your CF of my BF. Not B F too much D F with a D F and a K F. Yeah. Smart. Fabulous. Fabulous. It's a fabulous. 
here. Sharp. And there. Bing, bing, bing. What a bing, a bing, a bing, a bing. Smart. I'm missing something, I think. Smart. Hot button button. Fabulous. There you go. Three. That one. Sharp. You, you. Come on, Angela, move your booty boo. Come on, girlfriend, you can do Smart. it. Amazing. That's my girl. Oh my god. Sharp. Sparkling. Sparkling, pretty girlfriend of mine. Don't even ask. Smart. Yes, girlfriend, we did it. Woohoo! What the fr How long is this gonna go on for? Seriously. Oh my god. This is like the land chop song. The song that never ends? Well, it seems like it right now. This is the song that Smart. never ends. Smart. This is the song my mom and my friends. I forgot how to exactly that one freak part goes, but god darn it, girlfriend. Someone started singing that I don't know what it was. Did it? Oh lord. Smart. Don't get me started on the land job song, seriously. Amazing. Yeah, well, amazing yourself. I gotta go with you, you, you. Boom, boom, ding, dong. Smart. Come on, Angela. Move your keys to girlfriend. Girlfriend. Let's go, girlfriend. We don't got all day, girlfriend. Fabulous, you get your butt moving, girlfriend. You got like a lot of stuff to clean. Sharp. Sparkling. Yeah, well, you're gonna have it. Wait, what? Smart. Yeah. Stunning. There. Oh my god. Was this supposed to be like how many I can like. Make it or something? We'll see how long this goes on for. Really don't know how long this is gonna be now. Bing, bing, bing. Move your booty, girlfriend. Stunning. Come on, Angela. You can do it. Smart. Angela. Sharp. Go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go to you. Oh my god, you're gonna give me a hickey fit. Smart. Sharp. Hate that. Like, why is someone who's getting mad? Go. Smart. Fabulous. Okay, go, 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 go.
Um, what am I supposed to begin? See how long I could go because Smart. I'm getting this much. I'm very good at what I do. Sparkling. I mean, maybe not 100% off, you know, great, great, but I can't do it. Smart. Start that off. Go there. Cool. Bust that. Oh, you oh, the you know, basket area. Smart. Three. Yeah, what you gonna wait? Sorry. Smart. Fabulous. Sharp. God, this is not gonna be the easy part. Come on, come on. Smart. Go in, you evil! Cool. Fuck! Fun! Yeah, for how long exactly are we talking about this fabulous? Cause this looks like she's mad at me. Jesus, try many people you get mad at me very quickly. Smart. Cool. Sharp. Come on, I keep going. Sparkly. Wonderful. Mm. Oh, we don't go. Oh, we have to keep going? Oh, I'm sorry, this episode is very long. I'm going to just say that right now, because I just noticed that it's to see how long you go now. Which, I'm pretty good at this, to a point. So, cause I, I'm very organized in my head as it is. Go. I mean, check Italy though, when you get... Angela, go, girlfriend! We're about to lose it! Smart! Amazing! Seriously, girlfriend. Yeah, I'm all sweating and gray, and there's someone pissed at me already. Sure. Oh, please, for the love of God, get your booty moving. Smart. Oh my God. Smart. Fabulous. Oh. Come on, girlfriend. Angela, please. Smart. Thank you. Stunning. Cool. Sharp. Oh, Sparkling. Seriously? Wonderful. I have to keep, like, which Smart. one's come in, which one went out. Smart. Where's my... Cool. Cool. Yeah. 
crap! This is, I'm gonna lose. This is where we're gonna lose it. I might lose a customer. Go, 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 go. Stunning. Sorry, you guys get pissed at me. You don't care to be quite honest. Cool. I got a time saver here. But, um, so I'm gonna go, uh, go out probably. Dang it, I got to level 11. Ooh, Kitty Jackson, whoever that is. Okay. And to the final realm. Help Victoria attend to Janet and Chloe. Okay, girls, let's go. Good morning, miss. Oh, that tells me it's her. Hi, Victoria. I believe you already met Chloe, my daughter. We're here to look at this amazing prom dress you designed for Chloe. Oh yes, well actually I didn't design it. Angela was the one who helped out. Right, Chloe? Yes, Angela, now I remember. Angela, huh? Let me go get her. Oh, and please tell her Janet's here. Ah, ah! I knew it! Janet, it's her! It's Janet Morgan! <laughs> Your worst nightmare this year, I knew it. Angela, why don't we welcome Janet? Angela, I need you to listen now. Angela, I... Why? Hello there, Janet. Well, hi, Angela. How are you? Oh! Then, ah! Uh, I'm so glad to see you, Janet. Angela? <laughs> Angela, what are you doing? Shh! Don't use my name. I don't want to know I'm here. Who? The customer? Who is she? She's a uh, er, uh, really difficult customer. I don't have the time right now. Because. Because. If I got caught up with her, I won't have time for all these new queen up for our day designs. I have flown around on the head. Don't be ridiculous. Get a grip, Angela. I will, just give me a couple minutes. Alright, but hurry. It's hi, Angela! Hey there! Ah, Angela. Ah, I've been thinking, would you, would you be my date for Oh, come on, Matt. Just ask her. This is gonna get drama-related, ain't it? Give Janet and Chloe what they asked for. Oh, great. This is going to be hell on wheels, I just know it. Cool. Oh, this is going to be hell. Let's get the hell out of here, Angela. I mean, get out of the thing and get out of the dang closet, for God's sake. Jesus. Sharp. Boy, come in there myself and keep your butt cool. out of there. Oh, God. Oh, 
the, the president, the whole nine yards in our head, and then all of a sudden Aunt Janet Morgan comes back and her whole world disappeared. Smart. Stunning. Jeez. I think it's freaking hilarious though. It's like Oh my god, Janet Morgan! No one that ruined my home life! Oh, give me a break. No one really ruins anybody's life. <laughs> 